I've officially accomplished my goal of going pro without playing any college football. We've put in countless hours to accomplish this goal. To reach where we finally want to be, it's gonna take everything out of us. And in this video, I'm gonna show what's next in my football journey, the mindset I have moving forward, and answer some of the biggest questions you guys have about this next step. For those that don't know me, my name is Cam. And like you heard in the intro, I accomplished my dream of going pro without playing a snap of college football. This journey wasn't easy. We went through so much adversity trying to get here. If you want to hear my story, how we accomplished this goal, you can click this video right here. Now, for those that have kept up with my journey, you know the countless amount of hours it's taken to get here. However, we're not satisfied and this isn't the end. It's just the start of something so much bigger. All we needed was a foot in the door. And before we enter this new saga of our journey, I'm going to answer some of the questions that are going through y'all boys' heads. The first question y'all probably got is how does it feel to be a pro football player. I'm not gonna lie, it feels good, y'all boys. This took months of preparation. It took very much of a mental toll and so much prayer throughout this process. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm not even satisfied, bro. Of course, I'm grateful for God being with us throughout this entire way. And despite wanting to quit so many times, he helped me remain faithful and continue on this path. Honestly, I'm just grateful to be in the position I'm in right now. Question two, what's the next step now that I'm a pro? First up, if you already didn't know, I can never play college football again since I signed a pro football contract. That may sound intimidating, but I knew the risk once I set out to do this. And I'm just putting my faith in the Lord throughout this process, man, because I know he's got my best interest throughout it all. And why lose faith now when we've made it so far? However, just because we got signed does not mean it's going to be all sunshine and rainbows. Now, our training camp starts in February. And on the roster, I say there's around 36, 37 guys right now. And the coach said that he needs to cut it down to 25. And in order to play in the season, I need to make that 25-man roster. In my head, I truly have a chip on my shoulder in this process. I'm not waiting till February to be locked in. I'm locked in right now. With everyone with me on this journey, I have so many people that I inspire. Failure isn't an option. Question number three, what team slash league am I playing for? I'm playing for the Carolina Cobras, a part of the NAL league. There's around 10 teams in this league. My team schedule is actually out now, so if y'all want to pull up to a game, y'all can. Just let me know if I'm pulling up to your city. And the team I'm playing for is located in Greensboro, North Carolina. So if you stay close to the Greensboro area, you can most definitely pull up to some games. I'm going to make sure I actually make the team and I get playing time so I can ball out for y'all boys. I'm not just trying to have bench highlights this season. I'm trying to go crazy. Question number four, what am I aiming to do next? The goal is the same. It's the NFL. Like I told y'all boys in the beginning, it's my goal to document my journey and spread the gospel through this sport. I've accomplished a piece of that plan, but there's still so much more to do. The goal is to build my film up and hopefully move into a higher league like the UFL or the CFL and then make my way to the NFL. Whatever happens next, I'm just trusting God throughout this process. And I'm going to put in the work to back up the blessings that he has for me. Question number five, what is my mentality going into this new era? I'm not going to lie to y'all boys. I don't want to just make that 25 man roster. I want to dominate. And to make that happen, I got to be in the best shape of my life mentally, physically, and spiritually. I'm actively working every single day to become a better football player. And I know nobody's working as hard as me because this is all I do. So now that I answered y'all questions, I'm tired of just sitting here talking about the hard work I'm about to put in. Let me just take y'all to the field to show y'all how we about to get ready for this next step in our journey. Hey man, y'all boys already know what it is, bro. We back out here to get some work with a new trainer, man. From what I see, from what I hear, this is best wide receiver trainer in the borough. That's what I heard. So I got some work with him yesterday. It was good, but today I'm recording this session. About to get some good work in, bro. And honestly, we're trying to get ready for February. We already on the team. They chopping me down to five receivers, I believe, or something like that. And what we want to do, we will be the best receiver out there. So you got to lock in with this, get ready for that. I'll work all the receivers out there. Simple, same usual stuff, bro. We just got to work. I need to get like a little bit of an extra stretch in there, bro. I don't usually do wide receiver stuff two days in a row. I want to get used to it. That's how you get better. Oh, it's like this. Uh. 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 Oh yeah, we about to work today. Uh. After we got done with whatever you want to call this warm up, I guess, we caught a few passes and got ready for the ladder drill. The expectation is to drop no passes. That's not the goal anymore. That's the expectation. If we want to ball out at camp, we got to make sure we go hard on every single rep. And it starts right here. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I feel that QB arm, bro. I don't know if y'all noticed, but we're looking the ball in on every single catch, even when tucking the ball in. When it comes to catching the ball and looking it all the way in, these are things you want to practice during training sessions so it becomes muscle memory when on the field. <laughs> By the way, y'all boys, this is not a drop. This was just an overthrown pass. So don't even go commenting. I see y'all boys typing. I could have turned my neck there. Okay, this is a drop pass. Them over the shoulder catches is no joke. I almost broke my neck trying to catch this. That's also the type of pass we dropped when out the tryouts. We can catch all the easy ones we want, but catching the difficult passes is what will really separate us. No hands, damn. Hey, bro, that last one, I'm slant rounds deep. I gotta reach out my arms. I can't catch it like this. When I got shoulder pads, it's gonna bounce right off. So we want nothing hitting the body. Everything's straight hands. No body catching. Y'all boys peeped how fast we got out of that break. Do not let this North Carolina stuff fool you. Your boy's a Florida boy at heart. We get in and out of them breaks. <laughs> Good first time, bro. I ain't really see no drop passes. I don't even know which one touched my fingers hit, but hey, bro, we done with that dropping passes mess. You catch it, straight hands, straight hands, straight hands. That's how we get it done out here, bro. We out here working. Next one, out here working. Same thing, bro. Get this water, we back out there. You just gotta be smooth. Gotta get the things. Yeah, it's on. Good. yeah. So now you just now when you made this, you can't hear on the outside. Oh. So right now, I ain't gonna be as, as zuzu as I want to. When I get here, I gotta be on the inside. And so, yeah. And so, and so. I'm not gonna lie, that was a bad pass. You think that was a drop, cameraman? Yeah, you Cameraman always hate it. Not gonna lie, I jammed my finger a bit, but you know what? 
We good when we get up. Back out there. We're gonna go. Bro, why you always hating, bro? I'll slap the back of your head, bro. Hey, next man up. As soon as you leave, we releasing the stacking. Reset it the next trash can. Nigga, it touched one of my hands. It was overthrown, bro. Hey, y'all let me know in the comments. Was that overthrown or that was a good ball? In the game, I'm gonna run smack into that wall if I ran. <laughs> oh, nah. That route was certified, bro. We route runners over here. Tell y'all. We gotta finish, y'all boys. This was such a beautiful route, but we just couldn't finish in the end. Those passes that touch your fingertips are for real the most important ones. We gotta get right. <laughs> Hey man, make sure y'all go check out Coach Hag's stuff, bro. We getting straight work, man. We locked in off season as well, bro. Make sure y'all go check his page out. We gonna link everything in the description below, bro. We working out here. We gonna be back out here working, man. I'll see y'all boys in the next one. I truly appreciate y'all boys for watching this video, man. Thank you for the endless support I get on these videos. It truly means the world to me. If you haven't already, go check out our tryouts video. You can see the performance we had that helped us accomplish our dream of going pro without playing any college football. We got another banger coming up next week, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Y'all boys be blessed.